right, we'll, we'll skip ahead a little bit here because you were you were on staff at Kyle XY and on What About Brian, and then you did a pilot uh, for the 2006-2007 development season yeah. called Split Decision. Mm -hmm. uh, how did you sell your first pilot script? Well, that was sheer desperation. Basically, American Dreams had just been canceled. I'd been like dumped. I was like, Ugh. like I was so depressed. I went up for staffing, didn't get anything. Um, even went out for Kyle X Y and didn't get it. Um, and I was just like totally crushed. And I went in to meet with you know Endeavor at the time, uh, WME now, and said, I, like I don't know what to do. Like basically, <laughs> I have to figure something out. And I was only at like executive story editor or story editor level, so I thought, I mean, I can't do a pilot. I'm too inexperienced and I'm just starting out. And Ari Greenberg was like, yeah, you can. He's like, come back to me with five pilot ideas. And I'm like, oh. So I went off and I came back and I just had this one idea and um, he paired me up with Todd Garner and Robert Lukedic at the time. Um, Robert Lukedic ended up dropping out or taking another project, but, um, uh, Todd, you know, stuck around and, and hung in there with me and we developed it and we just ended up selling it to UPN, which was crazy little sidebar. I went to a psychic because I was so freaked out about work and like my life and I'm like, oh my God. And she was like, don't worry, you're, you're, puppet, you're going to, she said, don't worry, you're going to be okay by September 30th. You're gonna be working by September 30th. And I'm like, okay. So all summer I was like, all right, she said September 30th, I'm just gonna to choose to believe it because I don't know what else to do. And on September 30th, I was pitching at the WB and right when we got out of the pitch, they called and they said, UPN bought your pilot. And I was like, the psychic was right, you know? And they were all like, what? And I'm like, oh, nothing. But um, I was so excited and whenever I drive by that gas station near like the WB ranch, I always think about being there and calling my parents and telling them like they bought my pilot I'm gonna get paid to write it like I just couldn't believe it so it was just a total dream and it was actually funny because it was spelling um, for UPN when it started and by the time we shot it spelling had kind of been absorbed by uh, Paramount CBS and UPN had merged with WB to be the CW. Yeah, so. you were that season where a lot of people kind of got screwed because there were two networks that became one and like, yeah. oh, we don't need all of these shows. Totally, and I was lucky enough to get to shoot it, so, you know, I, I luckily got to do that, and I mean, I, it, I mean, it's so weird, like, I almost can't even believe that that happened, like, when I think about that that shot, I'm like, that's so weird. I don't know, it just seems so surreal. I was only 30 at the time, and it felt like I was just all overwhelmed and in over my head and so like awestruck by the whole thing. Would you have been ready to be a showrunner? Like let's say it got picked up, you know, knowing what you know now. Oh would my you god, have been... absolutely not. I mean, no way. I don't think so. I mean I would have had, you know, Mark Perry was uh, brought on to do it with me. Um, and I don't think that I wouldn't have been ready skill set wise. I mean, there's some things that being a showrunner, like nothing can prepare you for it, so it doesn't really matter because it's so crazy. But I think I needed split decision in order to teach me how to stand up for myself. Like, I think during split decision, I felt very much like kind of a grateful little girl. Like, I was like, I'm so happy to be here. They're shooting my pilot. Yay. And not that I wasn't happy about light years or life unexpected. I was the happiest person in the world, but I wasn't like, whatever you want, that's cool, like, I don't have an opinion, I'm just so excited. I was like, no, this is what it is, like, this is how I see it. And luckily, on Life Unexpected, I had a super collaborative director, in, a producing director in Gary Fleeter, who is so protective and supportive of writers, and it, he's such a genius, the last person he needs is me, but he, you know, let me be a strong voice in it and, and have a vision and, um, let me be a part of you know executing it so it was that was an amazing experience split decision was a rougher experience